We are facing a global water crisis, and the stakes are high. The stakes are our lives. According to the World Health Organization, about one in six people in the world currently lack access to clean water. It has been estimated that over the next two decades, the average supply of water per person is likely to drop by a third, possibly leading to millions of preventable deaths. Now, existing research for the most part has tried to solve this problem by using methods aimed at removing contaminants from water. And while some of these methods have resulted in contaminant removal, they tend to fall short in at least one of three key areas. Cost effectiveness, sustainability, and the quality of clean water produced, meaning they aren't ideal solutions for our global water crisis. My research suggests that the key to our global water crisis lies in a simple chemical method that allows for the creation of a powder-like material whose particles look like tiny balls with nano-sized pores on them. How small is a nano-sized pore? So small that the thickness of one sheet of paper is approximately 100,000 nanometers. Now, you might look at this and you look at these balls and you wonder what they are. So these balls are made of silica, a versatile material that allows them to attract a variety of toxic waste, including harmful chemicals and bacteria to their surface. They're also coated with titania, a material that allows for the sustainability of the process because it lets them use UV rays from the sun or any other human-made sources to break down the waste. So essentially, you have a nice multi-mechanism tag team combo, right? So going on, you find that if you look at water, what's essentially happening is it's attracting it, breaking it down over and over because the photodegradation allows for that sustainability. So because of sustainability, it also allows for the cost effectiveness of the process because sustainable solution, like a reusable solution, allows for a cost effective solution. Now, aside from that, what's even more interesting is the fact that this method is done under like room temperature, unlike other methods that need high temperatures to operate, saving even more money. And aside from that, what's even more interesting is the different deployment methods of this material. You could use it to make porous filters for your water bottle or to coat a water tank the size of your dream home. Essentially, we have a process that's easy, versatile, sustainable, and cost-effective, making it an ideal solution to our global water crisis. Thank you so much.